This is the one you've really been waiting for. A system of equations with three variables. All right, so we're going to do this by elimination. Okay, well, that's not, actually it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. So I'm going to take the top two equations and then choose to eliminate one of the variables. Just by looking at this, some of you guys may think to eliminate the x's. It's going to be easier to eliminate the z's. But you get to choose, all right? Just know if between these two equations we eliminate the z's, we've got to eliminate with the other two that we're going to choose to use. Right? Because I haven't used that third equation, which I need to use. So I can eliminate these right away by adding these two equations. Those two go away. Very nice. So 3x plus 3x is a 6x. Negative 3y plus negative 1y is a negative 4y. And this equals negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. All right, so I need to acknowledge that I have not used the third equation, my 6x plus 4y plus 3z equals negative 8. I just need to choose which of the two uh, other equations I want to use. Since we're looking to eliminate the z's, I'm just going to use that negative z right there. So I'm going to use equation 2. All right, so I don't get these confused. I'm going to move this stuff over here. And so we can focus just on these two equations, okay? Now I need the coefficient of z to be a negative 3. All right, so I need my coefficient of z to be a negative 3, which means all I need to do is multiply the equation by 3. So that gives me a 9x minus 3y minus 3z, which is what we wanted, equals 9. And the second row didn't change, which means that all I need to do is add these two together, and my z's will be eliminated. So 9x plus negative 6x is 3x. Negative 3y plus 4y is a 1y. The z's canceled out, they became 0. And 9 plus negative 8 is 1. So I've got these two equations, the one in red and the one in green, which we're going to combine to start eliminating either x or the y. Let's see which one we want to use by looking at them closer together. There we go. So which one do you guys want to eliminate? The y. The y. All right. So that means that I need to multiply this second equation by 4. And that would give me 12x plus 4y equals 4. And the red equation didn't change. But the good thing, and looks like you guys chose wisely because... The y's now are opposites of each other. We got negative 4 and positive 4. So that when I add these, they should eliminate. 6x plus 12x is 18x. Negative 4y plus 4y is 0. This is going to equal 6. Now when I divide both sides by 18 and simplify, I get x is 1 third. All right, so this is great because x is one-third. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this red equation here or the green equation that we worked so hard to get to solve for y. And I get to choose which one I use. I specifically am going to use the green one. So I'm going to take my 3x plus y equals 1. I don't really need the 1 there. Uh, the coefficient of y, I should say. But now I'm going to replace the x value. What the heck? The x value, whatever, with one third. And three times one third is one. Plus y equals one. So if I subtract one from both sides, I get the y equals zero. Now what I can do is I can go back to any one of the original equations and solve for z. I am going to use the top equation for no other reason than it is the top one. So I've got 3 times the x, which is 1 third. And this is minus 3 times y, which we found to be 0. And then we're going to add z. 
and this should equal negative 1. I'm going to give myself more space there. Negative 1. Okay. <clears throat> well, 3 times 1 third is 1. This is going to be minus 3 times 0 is 0 plus z. This needs to equal negative 1. So when I subtract 0, that's not going to change anything. I just need to add 1 to both sides. I'm sorry, subtract 1. And I get z equals negative 2. <clears throat> now, especially with these systems of three equations, if you do not check, you are risking a huge amount of points for something that would only take you a few minutes to check. And if it's wrong, it's going to take a lot of time to redo it, okay? So don't get discouraged. You just may want to double-check your work. If you use matrices, you should get the same answers, though.